relative to gold, silver is cheap. That's why I buy silver. Right. Uh, silver gets to 20 or 30 to 1 on gold. I'll, I'll be selling silver and buying gold. But uh, silver literally exploded yesterday. It was up over a dollar an ounce. It crossed uh, $27. And it's a breakout. And after a short correction, I, I think silver is going to go much higher. Silver prices rose sharply this week, going from $24.92 on April 1st to $27.50 on April 7th, a 10.35% increase for the gray metal. With this largely unexpected but widely anticipated price jump, silver is now at three-year highs after reaching levels last seen in June 2021. Though gold is trading at all-time highs at $2,330 per ounce, it has only gained 4.25% in the past week compared to silver's 10.35% gain in the same period. Both metals are performing excellently despite decreasing market sentiments about rate cuts and increasing U.S. Treasury yields. According to the CME Fed Watch Tool, market participants decreased their bets on a 25 basis point rate cut in June. With the latest upbeat U.S. jobs report, the market expects the Fed to keep rates up in June and probably begin cutting in July. Typically, this creates a bearish environment for safe haven, non-yielding assets like gold and silver. However, the current situation is anything but typical. In a recent interview with Natural Resource Stocks, 321 Gold founder Bob Moriarty predicts an impending catastrophic event for the banking sector in the United States. According to Bob, there is a ticking time bomb hanging over the U.S. banking industry, and when it goes off, it will sweep away tens of billions of dollars almost overnight. Bob supposes that the increased interest in the precious metals industry results from investors finally catching on to the problem and expecting the worst when the crisis begins. He warns that we have little time left as the U.S. Federal Reserve is out of moves and will be forced to cut rates to save the banking industry. This means further dollar debasement and increasing demand for precious metals like gold and silver. Bob is especially bullish on silver, which he believes is too cheap relative to gold. Bob expects silver prices to climb even higher until the gold-silver ratio is significantly reduced. Currently, the ratio is over 80, down from over 90. Bob expects it to drop even lower to 30 or 20 ounces of silver to one ounce of gold. As we present clips from Bob's interview, please watch, share, and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Thanks, and enjoy the video. I love silver. I own a lot of silver, but um, too. silver bugs are, are uh, nuttier than a shit house rat, okay? They're, they're just absolutely crazy. <laughs> Anybody that's followed gold, silver, the S&P, Dow, corn, wheat, lumber, anything, nothing goes down faster than silver. When mm -hmm. silver tops, it falls right off a cliff. And of course, silver bugs get caught every single time. There, there are guys who are considered gurus who were saying in 2000 that if the United States ever got into another war, silver being the most critical war metal would go to 50 to $100 an ounce all by itself. Nothing else would go up, just silver. So let's see. We had Iraq, we had Syria, <laughs> we had and we've got Gaza, we've got yeah, Russia. I, I mean, silver should be like 500 bucks an ounce right, right. now. Okay. Right. And I, I, I do own the silver. I, mean, I buy things because they're cheap. And if you look at the gold silver ratio, it's about around 90 to 1 relative to gold, silver is cheap. That's why I buy silver. Right. Uh, silver gets to 20 or 30 to 1 on gold. I'll, I'll be selling silver and buying gold. But uh, silver literally exploded yesterday. It was up over a dollar an ounce. It crossed uh, $27. And it's a breakout, and after a short correction, 
I, I think silver is going to go much higher. And if you understand this, you understand everything you need to know about investing. You don't have to know about interest rates. You don't have to know about currency. You don't have to know about Fed. You don't have to know about gold production. You don't need to know about Ukraine or Gaza or anything else. If you can understand what the mob is doing, the yes. mob is always wrong. Uh, yeah. Relative to gold, silver is cheap. And if you think gold is going to go up, silver has to go up more. And I will say uh, absolutely across the board, the silver stocks have been massacred. Okay. Uh, they, 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 the resource market in general it has been filled with carnage. But the silver stocks in particular, everybody hates silver now, even the silver bugs. During the interview, Bob shares his views about an impending crisis in the banking industry. He believes there is no stopping the crisis and that the Fed's response will be immediate rate cuts and more money printing to save the banks. Despite mixed remarks from Fed Chair Jerome Powell, Bob believes the rate cuts will come in earnest once the crisis begins. On Friday, the Fed chair said the central bank has been paying attention to investors' expectations on interest rates, but is prepared to ignore Wall Street's hope for a rate cut in June, if it feels the economy isn't ready yet. We don't need to be in a hurry to cut, Powell announced, during an event hosted by the San Francisco Fed. If we reduce rates too soon, there's a chance that inflation would pop back and we'd have to come back in and that would be very disruptive. Bob believes Powell will soon be forced to change his tune again. Let's get back to the interview. In March of last year, the banking system was on the edge of a total failure. The Fed came in and said to all the banks that were underwater, you can give us your used toilet paper and we'll pretend it's not used toilet paper and we'll give you T-bills and T-notes and uh Someday we'll end that program and that'll give you time to get your books back into shape. Well, actually, the last year has not been good for the banks. The commercial real estate market is an utter disaster. And, and the markdowns on the commercial real estate buildings say, selling have been up to 90%. So the banks were in bad shape a year ago on the verge of collapse. The Fed bailed them out, and now the Fed has said, okay, you, we're going to give you back your used toilet paper. I, I, I can't see how it could be anything other than a ticking time bomb. The banks are going to start reporting earnings uh, in the next two weeks, and uh, it, it could be catastrophic. It, it's going to be catastrophic at some point. And the only question is when. The banks are underwater, and, and someday we're going to have to admit it. Well, here's my question. When you're talking out of both sides of your mouth, how do you do it without your tongue getting in the way? Yeah. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's trying to play up the, well, we're going to lower crime, uh, when in fact it, it's not going to happen. OK, we have inflation. Inflation is going to go higher. Interest rates are going to go higher. Bonds are going higher right now. The interest rate of bonds is going higher right now. So I, I personally question the ability of the Fed to lower interest rates. I don't think it's going to happen. Now, the market is totally delusional. I mean, whoever is supplying Coke to Zelensky has been supplying a lot of it to, to Washington and to Wall Street. And, and the stock market in the United States, totally delusional. And bad things are going to happen. They're going to happen this year. It's just a question of whether it's going to happen this week or this month. So we've got this really interesting situation where somebody's just buying the crap out of gold and silver. So the question, I, I think a really good question would be, if the United States is effectively at war with you, 
why would you want to own their debt? And China and Russia are saying, we don't want to own their debt. But then you've got the problem, what do you do with the money? Somebody is buying, regardless of all the tacticals, regardless of supply and demand. And I think that what they're really doing is they're shifting from U.S. dollar notes uh, into gold. And gold is going up much higher, much faster than it would typically. Uh, I don't know if I remember a time that gold has gone up seven days in a row, but as of yesterday, it had gone up seven days in a row. At this point, I would really like to see a correction. And we've got a correction going today, but it's only down like eight bucks. Now, if it was down 50 bucks today, I would say, okay, we've had a top. But everything that I'm seeing says this is just the start of a massive rally. Standard and Poor's has downgraded five additional U.S. regional banks, suggesting there is more pain ahead for the sector. In its report, the rating agency said it's downgrading First Commonwealth Financial Corporation, M&T Bank Corporation, Cinevus Financial Corporation, Trustmark Corporation, and Valley National Bancor from stable to negative. It cited the bank's exposure to the troubled commercial real estate market as the reason for the downgrade. According to the Outlook report, M&T has one of the worst exposures to CRE, with over $33 billion in loans to the troubled sector. The report states, CRE loans at M&T are higher than at most rated U.S. banks and are much higher than at similarly rated regional bank peers. CRE loans of $33 billion made up 25% of total loans and roughly 174% of Tier 1 capital as of December 31, 2023. According to experts, over $900 billion in commercial property loans will come due this year. Given that rates are much higher now than when the loans were originally contracted, it is difficult to imagine how such massive loans can be rolled over without major rescheduling. This rescheduling will involve major bank consolidation and collapses. What are your thoughts on Bob Moriarty's predictions about a coming crash in the United States? Please drop your comments and observations in the comments section below. Also, ensure you subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.